Rock till you drop. Oh, mad. You see, because people aren't going to advertise your album. You know, then they're, they're not going to do it. <clears throat> You're going to struggle to let people know you've got some product out there, you know. So our manager at the time said, uh, rock till you drop, you know. Can you do four venues in one day? Yeah, I guess we can. And we did an hour and 20 minute set, I think. Um, so we rehearsed it. I've got Tarrant on board to coordinate the whole thing, you know, uh, which was probably a bad move, but he did well. And uh, how we did it, I don't know. I mean, the thought of doing it now is just horrendous. But we uh, we got the identical gear, uh, four sets of identical back line, um, the light rigs, um, the staging, everything identical at uh, Glasgow, Birmingham, London and somewhere else. And how we did it, I, I, I just don't know. Um, I, I remember being completely knackered at the end of it, the time we finished the last one at Wembley. I mean, there was a real fantastic celebration when we got on stage. All the London fans were really... Um, there was a fantastic welcome, you know. And uh, the gig was a little below par, I guess, having done it three times before that, you know. But uh, the logistics of that day were just unbelievable. When you, One minute you're on a helicopter, then you're on a jet, then you're on a bus, then you're in a limo, then you're back on a jet, then you're in a helicopter. And uh, it was an expensive day, I can tell you that. It was very expensive. You start using, you know, six jets and 14 helicopters and <clears throat> buses and cars and... oh. But it worked, and uh, the album was a success, thank God. And uh, everybody knew about it, because it was on every news channel throughout the country. And the Guinness Book of Records, of course. And I think other people have tried to emulate it, but in kind of lounges of airports, got up and done a little turn, and then got to another airport. And um, But that one, I don't think anybody will ever, ever top that. I don't think they will, unless they're completely barking fucking mad, because it was logistically and physically a very, very difficult day to plan and do. And uh, it was good, I suppose, you know, the fact that we've done it and, and you're in the, the Guinness Book of Records, great. But I don't think anybody will ever beat it. Rhino said that on the flight from Birmingham to London, he looked around the plane and he thought, we've bitten too much off here, we're going to fuck the last one. Do you mm. think there was a film of that during the day between certain members that made Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel that personally. I didn't feel it. I mean, I knew that we'd do it. I knew we could do it. Um, although you, you're feeling quite exhausted, but you're young-ish, and you're up for it, you know. And, uh, I mean, it wasn't exactly that bad. I mean, you're on private jets with hostesses, you know, giving you know, food. You've got good food all through the day, and you've got people monitoring you and 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 giving you the uh, the correct uh, fluids you know to keep you keep you going and we were pampered throughout the day and uh, I, I had no no doubt that we would do it I must admit I mean when we got to Wembley I, I did feel fatigue of course you would um, I mean doing one gig at, at high energy is enough but to do four I knew we'd do it. There was no way we weren't going to do it. I mean, we weren't going to fail, were we? Having spent a few hundred quid on six jets, and we weren't going to fail. <laughs> it wasn't an option. <laughs>